my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. In today's gospel passage, Jesus Christ is calling his disciples and said to them, Follow me. I will make you fishers of men. This call applies not only to the disciples of Jesus Christ, but also to all the people who are called to be his followers. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, Today I would like to tell you how I actually came to North America. I never thought or imagined I will be working as an associate pastor in St. Anne's Parish. One fine morning, a call comes to me from my provincial asking me, do you like to go to North America? I had to respond to my provincial immediately and I did not ask any questions and clarification. But I said to him, yes, the call of God is mysterious and when we say yes to him, he will be the one who will be working through his called ones. In any circumstances and situations, dear brothers and sisters, not only for me, but for many of you and there are many situations in which you have to make an immediate decision. We experience such a similar situation in today's gospel. Jesus called his four disciples to follow him while they were trying to catch fish in the Sea of Galilee. The four disciples must make an immediate decision to follow Jesus Christ or continue their usual life. And they responded and spontaneously acted immediately, left everything and chose to follow Jesus Christ. This immediate decision and the response was correct. By their decision, they were chosen as the apostles and Jesus promised them a special place in heaven. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, once our parents decided for us at the baptism, but later we ourselves have made the decision to follow Jesus Christ at the first communion and confirmation. We consciously chose Jesus Christ. This decision means that we must listen to our conscience, even if it is not always easy for us, but sometimes brings us earthly benefits. But he who remains steadfast to the end will be rewarded or saved. Let us pray that in all situations of our lives, we may be guided by him and remain as steadfast disciples of Jesus Christ. Almighty and eternal God, direct our actions according to your will and grant that we may abound in good works in the name of your beloved Son. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord and God, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.